Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Rosinal Resurgence. This board features Rosinal's AmpTech All Mountain, which is 50% camber through the insert pack, then 25% rocker in the nose and the tail. Basically, it's cam rocker with a little bit more rocker to it. This is gonna give it that load, pop, and snap of traditional camber underfoot, but you're gonna have a little bit more rocker out in the nose and the tail, which is gonna give you more optimal powder float as well as ease of entry in and out of turns. This board is available in 153, 156, 159, 155 wide, 159 wide, and 163 wide. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a day that had overcast skies to full on haze to just, you know, crappy visibility. There was fresh snow on top of the corduroy, older snow off in the trees, off the runs. There's chunder, ice, death cookies, just kind of a mix of everything with the cooler temperatures and moderate winds. And I rode it with my Rome Black Label Bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. The overall flex for this board comes in at just past the middle of the road for all mountain use. You do have softer tip and tail and it stiffens up just outside the inserts through the middle with a little bit of torsional flex. It's not overwhelming. You notice it's there. Now this board is mostly stable. You get a little chatter out in that rocker at high speeds, but it, you never really feel it underfoot. And in rutted out terrain, it wants to stay on top of everything. It doesn't get knocked around. It blasts through chunder with ease. It just pushes through everything in there. Overall, it's, a fairly stable board. The snap's there, but it's nothing overwhelming or noticeable. It gets the job done. You do have to load that camber section up. And when you do, it activates that rocker section. It gives you like a skate-like pop, but it's not overly snappy. I mean, it'll get the job done if you're blasting off a side hit, a roller, a cat track gap, something like that. You'll be happy that it can do it, but you're not like, wow, I'm really sending it. And when it comes to jumps, it's the same thing. The lip does a little bit more work than the actual snap of the board. With the stability of this board and the flex, it should be fine for bigger jumps. I'd keep it more to the small to medium range, but that's me personally. But for those of you that really want to send it, go in, do what you got to do. What's nice about this board is that you got this camber section that comes out and then you got this rocker into these abrupt tip kicks. I mean, if you look at the actual kicks on these things, it's very abrupt. So what you want to do when you're buttering is get your weight out there and utilize that tip kick. So when you're on the nose or the tail, you're swiveling around out there, you can feel it lock in and due to how much rocker it has, it really doesn't fight you because it overwhelms that camber section. It still gives you a little bit of snap out of there but it's not enough where you're like, oh, I'm fighting this. You're more like, oh, okay, it's there. I guess I can pop back out if I need to. The same can be said with jibbing. You wanna make sure you understand how to lock in on that rocker section to get it to stay pressed. And when you do, it holds perfectly. It's not fighting you. You don't have to manhandle it, but you still get that snap out of the feature. Now going sideways, what's nice is this camber section is right between the feet. It's just so dominant in there. It just hugs right around the rail or the feature and you just feel it cradling it, but you're not clapping out and you're not so planky on there that you're just doing that balance beam effect. It gets the job done. Is this a jib board? No, not by any means. But can it jib? Yeah, if you need it to, it will. Rosinal changed their serrated edge tech. So this board actually feels a little more hooky and you can notice that the serration in the middle is a little bit more defined. Just be aware that it can feel a little bit more hooky. What's nice about this board is when you go to get it on edge, it feels calculated. There's a level of precision there to let you know that you're locking in. It's not like it's fluid or quick and nimble. It's just calculated and precise. Like I'm going on edge, this is gonna be my line and I can do it. When you get it over on edge, if you really wanna rail it and just get deep and low, you have to put a little bit more effort into it. You'll notice that right away. You're pushing it from that center camber through the tail to really get it to just push through that car, give you that slingshot effect. But at the same time, you can be laid back and just do those tight, quick setup turns 
or those medium mellow carbs where you're just sort of swooping around from one side of the run to the other, where you're not getting deep and really flexing that board, getting a lot of angle right through the carb. This board rips on edge, it feels smooth, it locks in, but it doesn't make you feel like you're stuck locked in. Like you can disengage it whenever you actually want to. Who's this board for? The all mountain freestyle guy that wants a little more up kick in the tip and the tail. I mean, look at that. That's abrupt. This is a real solid offering from Rosnall. I like the way that it rides. I like that abrupt tip and tail kick. It just funnels pow out so much more. And they elongated the camber zone in this, so it changes the pop a little bit more with it. But then you engage that rocker as well, which it lets you be playful if you want to. It's a board that you don't have to bring your A game to all the time, but when you do, you get a lot more out of it. Overall, it's a smooth, stable board. It plows through chunder with ease. It's fun in pow. You can take it in the park. As I already said, this is a great offering from Rosinal. Comparable boards, the Niche Aether, the LibTech Dynamo, the Capita Mercury. Binding recommendations, the Rome Katana, the Burton Cartel, the Bent Metal Action. This has been my review of the Rosnell Resurgence. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not going to miss any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video. Mm -hmm.